Good morning, so I'm in Coburn's Pass and I'm at the start of the Berwickshire Coast Pass, which I'll show you the board in a minute. I've um, got quite a big day today, I'm walking 18 miles into Imus, which is where I stayed last night, I've got a hotel there, so my backpack's nice and lightweight today. Um, but yeah, should be a good day. Um, the weather forecast, it's quite windy. I'm actually in a little sheltered spot here, but it's quite windy out there. But it's meant to get better as the day goes on, so yeah, it should be good. Um, I'll show you the map where I'm going. So this is the start of the Berwick Coast Pass. So I'm here. I'm going to be following the Southern Upland Way until here. Then it goes in and then I'm going all the way around here. Around here to here <laughs> today. It's a quite a long quite a long one, but it should be good. I think I'm gonna be along the tops of cliffs. And and I've been here before. And obviously I was here last night. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been here before on the beaches. Um and I know this is really gorgeous, so yeah, I'm quite looking forward to it. And then yeah, tomorrow I'll be going down to the Berwick upon Tweed over the Scottish English border. Should be good. So I think this is Pease Bay that I'm coming into. Um, this is where I split off from the Southern Upland Way. Luckily the weather's not quite as bad as it was predicting. Um, it might be I'm going up onto that headland out there, I expect that'd be quite wild but so far it's been alright actually. Lovely views of the cliffs and the rocks and the bays. But yeah the next but it is quite a climb, I think, going by the map. So, get the blood going a bit. Luckily, um, I managed to get my anxiety under wraps last night, so I managed to actually sleep properly. I didn't have to take my anxiety meds, which is like hugely beneficial. Because, um, like, when I take my anxiety meds, it's actually beta blockers, which slow the heart rate and everything down which is great when you're battling anxiety but when you actually want to do like exercise it's a bloody nightmare <laughs> so I didn't have to take any of them last night so my body should work properly um, I also managed to eat I had chip roll which was really good and a bunch of Pringles and sweets and all that and I had a big breakfast this morning so full of calories so should be alright on the energy front today probably be a bit weary towards the end of the day but Nothing like out of the ordinary. See that seat? I've been eyeing them up on Amazon for my garden. I was wondering what they look like in real life. And I think that's the one I've been looking at and it looks pretty good to me. So I think I might get that. <laughs>
My word, that was a bit of a wild stretch. The rain all came. Actually, it was hailstoning at one point, and it was really strong winds. Like I saw the forecast was like 40 miles an hour or something, but like I was getting blown all over the place. I felt safe enough, but it was wild. <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, it seems to have, I've got a little quiet bit here. I think I'll probably pick up again once I get around this little bit here. But oh, this is great though. Um, I really enjoyed it today. I mean, it's hard work, <laughs> but it's good. It's got the blood up and everything. Yeah, that, that looks like I'm going to get wet again. But the forecast is improvement during the day. Like, I don't mind bad weather if you know it's going to get better. <laughs> if you know it's getting worse and worse, that's not great. But yeah, but yeah I am soaked. So, so I'm just past halfway actually. Um, and I found this reasonably sheltered sunny spot to sit with a beautiful view. So I'm going to have a lunch here and then crack on. I think it's only a couple of miles down into St. Abs, which I'm quite looking forward to. Um, yeah, so far it's been a really good day. really enjoyed it. Um, not enjoyed the wind, apart from the bit when it was really wild, I enjoyed that, but the rest of it just annoys me. Um, funny enough, I've been thinking about why it is I just like the wind, and I think it's like, when it's still, I feel like I'm at one with nature, I'm like interconnected with all the things around me, I can smell things, I can hear things and everything, whereas the wind, I feel like disconnects me from the nature around me, and I just feel like walking my own bubble and I get a bit bored of that to be honest. I like to be more connected to my surroundings so I think that's why I don't like the wind but yeah I feel like I've been banging on about the wind quite a lot the last few days I've been annoyed by it for the last few days anyway <laughs> but yeah oh, it's lovely though <laughs> intimidated about what I'm about to go up <laughs> This is awesome though. All the 
birds nesting in there. See, I'm not really used to walking along cliffs. Like, this is quite new to me, like. I'm completely in awe of the view behind me. <laughs> it's really hard to keep walking away from it. It's absolutely stunning. The rock formations and everything, like, amazing. It's me, the slow walker. <sighs> Such a stunning view. So I'm just taking a little rest here. I'm trying to debate. I can see like a town over there. And I'm trying to debate is that Imaus or is it St. Abs? Because I'm hoping it's Imaus. <laughs> and I think St. Abs is somewhere just down in here. But then if that's St. Abs, then I've got a long way to go. <laughs> I think I've only got five miles and I'm trying to work out whether that looks five miles away <laughs> or whether it looks a mile and a half away. <laughs> I think it's I think it's eight um, I miles. I think it's I miles. Um, I guess we'll see. <laughs> It's just such a nice day. I mean, there is bits where it's still quite windy. I know I keep going on about that wind, but it's really cold when the wind's there. But in sheltered bits, I keep hearing this bird. I don't know what it is. 
looks at the ghouls down there. Um, yeah, in the sheltered bits it's lovely and warm. I'm being quite vigilant on the bird front because I did see online that there is a chance of seeing puffins on this bit of coastline, like basically over the next couple of days. And I've never seen a puffin, I don't think. I'd really like to see one, so anything I hear that's like a little bit not what I'm used to, I'm thinking is it a puffin? <laughs> So this is St Abs just out here and it is Imoth, that's further in the distance which I'm pleased about because yeah, I didn't really want to walk that distance and then that again so yeah I quite enjoy St Abs so um, hoping there might be an ice cream going down there I could go for a little ice cream just to get me the last few miles oh. This is amazing today for the views. I feel like I should be walking down this way. <laughs> the signs definitely said this way though, but yeah, it just feels like I'm walking through someone's garden. So I was reading in the village there, um, apparently it's not really owned by the council um, or funded by the council, it's actually the people that live here, the fishermen and yeah, the people that live here, that they actually run the place <laughs> and uh, the money that they get from like the car parking and the tourism, I think the village shop they said, um, that like all goes into the place, uh, so I thought it was quite interesting. <laughs> Um, part of me thinks it's like proper ideal to like live in a place where like everyone's a community and they have a say in where they live and like get to make decisions for themselves like I feel like that's better than having like council run um, places where like I mean certain councils care but there's a limit because it's the job isn't it where it's like if you actually live somewhere you're going to be more invested in keeping it nice but on the other side of it, like, I know people, I know what committees are like, I bet they argue over the most stupidest things here, <laughs> like, I'd love to be a fly on the wall at the meetings, <laughs> I bet they're constantly arguing, 
Oh, what's going on here? Oh, diversion here. Yeah, I bet they're constantly arguing over like ridiculous things. Gosh, I bet the drama here is like <laughs> immense. <laughs> but yeah, it's a nice little village. Um, so I had an ice cream, which was top notch. It was good ice cream. Um, very expensive. It was three sixty, but I suppose I need to make the money <laughs> somehow. Um, but the cakes I didn't get one but they had some gorgeous looking cakes which I if I ever come back here which I might um, definitely could have a cake sometime uh, yeah they looked amazing I'm just a bit distracted it says the roads the path's shut I can't actually see why the path's shut wondering if we won't win someone's field for no reason now. Well, I have some lovely memories of this beach um, when I was a child. Childish, I guess. Teenage, child. That kind of <laughs> region. Um, in the summer, my parents and I would come over here with the dogs and have a beach day. There's a few beaches we went to, but this was one of the favourites, if I remember rightly. Um, people used to surf here as well. I don't know if they still have to probably do. Yeah, I used to be playing in all the waves and <laughs> watching people surf. I have a vague memory of being dragged all the way up the coast on them rocks, so... the other people's videos of this coast pass a lot of people do seem to camp here which looks a pretty good place to do it also um, the whole Berkshire coast pass it's I think about 30 miles in total now because I'm staying in hotels I've had to do it um, 18 miles one day and then 12 miles the next day whereas here kind of breaks up that 18 miles a wee bit so I guess, what is it, about two miles time with now, so that would make it a 14 mile and a 16 mile rather than a 18 and a 12, so that's probably a bit better if you're on a wild camp. That being said, I do quite enjoy camping when I've not got anxiety, but after a long day walking like this, I am very glad that I'm going to a ready-made bed, a nice hot shower, towels, cups of tea, electric, TV <laughs> yeah um, I like camping and I like walking but I actually think I prefer these long distance walks with some luxury at the end of the day and I prefer just to keep camping camping as a separate entity <laughs> but yeah 
my way is a hell of a lot more expensive so there's that i'm gonna have to work hard in life to hotel it all the way around the coast of britain which seems to be the way that i'm planning on doing it now <laughs> but yeah i'm still uh, eating the dehydrated meal so I've got dehydrated macaroni cheese to look forward to tonight, which I'm trying not to look forward to it because then I'm going to be disappointed. Um, but I've also got Pringles as well though, so there's that. So this is me practically back at the hotel, which was a bit of a surprise. Normally I find like the last mile or something is like a proper drag and I feel like you're walking forever and not actually reaching the place you want to be in. And this time I just like went around the headland and suddenly I can see my hotel, which is wonderful. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just going to sit down. But yeah, um, I'm going to end the video here because literally I can see my hotel, it's just there. Um, been a good day actually. It's been the first part was a bit too wild. It was alright, but it was a bit for my, for my liking. Um, the wind. I know I've been complaining about that for the past three days, but I'm, I'm not a fan of the wind. <laughs> um, but aside from that, it's been a fantastic route. It's, the cliffs were absolutely stunning. Um, I don't know much about geology, um, but apparently the facts around here I'm sure like it says that all the way around the coastline to be honest but yeah very impressive rocks <laughs> don't know much about them but they were impressive um, and yeah this afternoon it's just been quite tranquil light in the sunshine it's been nice it's been good um, I'm very proud of myself actually so I think it's about half five now so that means I've been walking just over eight hours um, and I've done 18 miles which I am really proud of myself for doing that. Um, I mean, there was a time not long ago where 10 miles was like a lot to do for me. So 18 miles, it's been a long day, um, but I'm not exhausted. I'm feeling all right. I'm like, my my legs ache a little bit, but I'll be fine after a good night's sleep. Um, yeah, I'm proud of myself how far I've come with that. Cause I think last time I did anything like, well, apart from last week, when I lost my bank card, I kind of knocked out, I think I did 17 miles there in the end, I did that quite quickly in the end, but it's been like a lot of ups and downs today and I was quite nervous, like I think it's been about 2,000 feet in ascent and descent, so I was quite nervous about that along with the distance um, and last time I did anything like that it took me like 12 hours to do, so to do it in 8 hours I'm really pleased with myself. And I'm not broken at the end of it. I mean, I've still got to get across the bay, so I guess anything could happen. But for now, I'm not broken. I'm feeling good. Um, yeah. In a rambling. Proud of myself. Um, tomorrow's the last day on the coast for a while, so I think it's a 12 mile day, which I'll probably knock out quite quickly because I want to get quite an early train. Um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, if you've made it this far, as always, thanks for watching. Do really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video.